been uh, here at the Toronto Study Center since the 1970s. And I've been focusing most of my clinical work and research on conditions such as Tourette syndrome and obsessive compulsive disorder as they affect children, but many of the individuals that we've followed have now grown up and are adults, so we're also following them. And we've been, I guess, particularly interested in developing new treatments, but it's always been fascinating for me because the way to learn about these conditions, in addition to using whatever the latest technology is, is to listen and to hear what people have to say about what their own experiences are. So I'm, at the moment, writing a chapter for a book that I'm editing on Tourette, and one of the things we're focusing on are the premonitory urges, the feelings that occur within an individual just before they have a tick behavior, and trying to understand that more deeply. And interestingly, that has turned out to be really quite important in terms of some of the treatment interventions that we're currently developing, because you need to have a clear awareness of these urges in order to respond to them in some other way than sort of making the tick. So we've been very fortunate, I've been very fortunate, uh, and actually that's my connection to Nord in some way. Uh, Abby Myers uh, had been very active uh, early on in the Tourette Syndrome Association and then decided to help found Nord, and uh, it's through that connection with Tourette. And, the fellow who started our program here, a fellow by the name of Donald Cohen, who passed away a decade ago, that uh, we're continuing to do that work. And I guess one of the exciting things for me, given sort of where I stand in the field, is to be able to recruit and have younger people join us in this effort so that the next generation of investigators will be actively involved. Well, I think. Um, just to say how thankful I am for organizations like NORD, because without organizations like NORD, there would be whole groups of individuals who would feel so isolated and alone and, and not have the opportunities to, to come together and make a difference in this world, and to be able to join an organization like NORD, make those contributions, but also to be able to take advantage of the review process and other things so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you want to make some contribution to science. I think this makes very good sense to me. Thank you very much. Well thank you. Thank you for thank you for Nord.